Patterson, Richie Patterson from New Zealand. Fourth place in the Olympic Games as a 77 kilo lifter four years ago. He wasn't actually that close to the bronze medal, but says that he feels much more comfortable at this 84 kilo, 85 kilo category and tends to prepare by lifting a little bit overweight, but that isn't necessarily unusual. from Auckland, coached by Tina Ball, who you might see in a moment, uh, and Adam Story. This is the duo looking after. And uh, there's Adam. And I must also tell you, as you uh, try to do some research on Richie Patterson, you also find him on the top, top 10 list of the Sexy Men of Sport website. So that's, that's the feather in his cap that the others don't have. I think everybody now understands exactly what you look at on the website. <laughs> I think that was an own goal, Tina. <laughs> Slightly improves his chance. So, Richie Pallison from Auckland. He's got a lot of experience, competed in the Olympic Games in 77 kilos, finished fourth in the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne last time out. Got a silver medal at 94 kilos this season in the Oceanic Championships, but he wasn't right up to 94, he was just a heavy 85. Yeah, the reason why I think he's a bit dangerous, Tina, is because the performance that I picked out that particularly interested me was what he did in Auckland this year when he did 150, 193 for 343. Now, but he weighed 87 kilos 50, so it was two and a half kilos over. That said, that performance in Auckland gave him an awful lot of confidence and pleasure. And if he can repeat that, he's definitely within shot of gold medal. Yeah, so, you know, 343, you know, went nice, but, you know, they're still looking for this goal in Australia. And here's, here's one man who's also looking for a goal. New Zealand versus Australia. You can, you can imagine. <laughs> Always a classic rivalry. Always. So 150. Now Richie weighed in at 84.13. Simplice, 84.69. So if the New Zealander gets this, the Kiwi takes the lead. Oh, yes. in the North Sport Olympic Centre, part of the Millennium Institute in uh, Auckland. Good boy, that's three out of three. Cars for more than that, and he has the lead by virtue of lighter body weight, but the Aussie has got one more attempt. And so does Paul Dillon. But what you can see here, Tina, is nobody's running away with this. That's right, it's very close. This is going to be a really very tight, and there it is. New Zealand with the edge. 150, lighter promises to be a real cracking second Kiwi versus Australia. I know it's all years old. That's when he started. India in bronze. There are three medals. There are four men. Now to open his account, Richie Patterson. Remember, he cleaned and jerked 193 earlier this year in Auckland. He was a little bit overweight, but that was impressive. And that's impressive. Oh, no. Well, that's... Well, the clean was very straightforward. Now, there's no question, he is going to have to come out and do that again because Mali has put the bar up to 182. Marino of Canada has put it up to 185. Now, Mali can change his mind. He could go to 185, but, you know, just at the moment, they're just watching. I mean, he, he might not have to get to 340, but we've just got to wait and see. Now... We like people to make lifts. 
we do. But this, will, this will certainly, this will certainly keep this nice and spicy. <laughs> It'll keep the competition alive. Mind you, there are one or two camps back there who would not be unhappy if this went the wrong way. Come on. Yeah. And we get the three white lights. So he's 331 and goes into the lead by virtue of his lighter body weight over Simplice Ruboim of Australia. So New Zealand once again edging Australia. And into third place now drops the Canadian into fourth place and off the podium at this moment, Mali. So the bar going up to 182 kilos. Now this is fascinating. Because Rebellum's going to come and take... Is he? Is going to come? No. He's certainly not. not. In Patterson's case, third attempt, I'll be the benefactor. So... It's been a good day for the Canadians. Gold in the women, 69 kilos, and now a bronze of Richie Patterson now. Well, this is eight kilos up. He's on 331, so this will take him to 339. That means that Rebellum would have to get 340 to win the title, because he is the heavier man. So, if he gets this... The game is still on, and he goes into the lead. If he drops it, Australia take gold. Oh, no. it's gold for Australia. It is gold to... Well, well done, Richie Patterson. Yeah. He gave it a good fight. Yeah, he's really frustrated because he knows that that was a super, super chance. But, again, although emotionally he'll be quite down and drained at the moment, this is a man who missed out on a medal four years ago in the 77 kilo class. He has won the silver medal. He didn't actually lose the gold medal at this moment, but he, he's won the silver medal. So, Reboa has put the bar to 194 kilos. He's going to have one go at the Commonwealth Games clean and jerk record. As you see, Richie Patterson just drained of New Zealand with Canada's Mathieu Miguel finishing in third place on 325. Confirmation, Rebaum and Patterson Equal pegging, but only body weight separating them at the halfway stage. But at that time, it was the other way around. Now, the 183 clean and jerk of Rebellion, all the difference, 333. He wins by two kilos. For Mathieu Marino, 325. And again, body weight coming in there. And well, so to the victory ceremony for the... but they should all be pretty happy with what they've done. Two of them, Commonwealth medalists for the first time. And the president of the International Weightlifting Federation. So, as is tradition, in reverse order, we go with the bronze medalist. Four years ago, Richie Patterson from Auckland finished in that awful position of fourth in the 77 kilos. He moved up to 85. In the first half, he led by body weight with 150 kilos. He added 181, but 331 is as far as he could go. But he only misses the goal by two kilos. But he is Commonwealth Games silver medalist at 85 kilos.
line of cultures we have. Oh, come on. I know there have been days when the Indians have had more reason to celebrate, but I generally mean it. The, the kind of competition that we just witnessed was just fantastic. It went down to the wire. It was really good fun. It certainly was, and I hope you've enjoyed being with us today. Tomorrow we're back with the women's 75 kilo and Tawari and myself, David Goldstrom. Bye-bye from Delhi.